Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to create a smoky brown eye. It's a super quick look and so easy to create. It's perfect for everyday wear. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nina Ubi, I'm a makeup artist and a beauty entrepreneur. This is the place you'll find all the content that I create around beauty, skincare, makeup, and also a few vlogs to give you an insight into what I get to do when I'm not in front of the camera or my laptop. And if you like this video, press the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell button so that you're always notified whenever I release more content like this. So let's get straight into the tutorial now. Now a quick note, just to make it easy for you guys, I've listed all of the products that I've used in this video in the description box below. So if you need any of them, just click on the links. I'm gonna start off with the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Eye Color, and I'm using the shade Fig. What I'm doing is applying a thick line to my upper lash line, but I'm actually starting from the end of the lash line. Now I'm just making it slightly thicker here so you can see the thickness and then as I'm going in I'm making it a little bit thinner now you've got to be careful here because it's quite a thick pencil so you've just got to be careful when you're drawing the line on the inner corner so you can see it doesn't need to be a neat line it can be quite a messy line because we're going to smudge it in a second Next up, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever brush in 216. All I'm doing is smudging inwards. So I'm grabbing the color with the brush just at the edges. So not so much right in the middle, but just the top part of the liner that I've created. And I'm just smudging it inwards. So I'm kind of like buffing in. So I'm like literally in that motion, buffing it. But you wanna make sure that you keep the shape the same. We don't wanna change the shape. All we're doing is just smudging the harsh line that you can see. So you can see that it's slightly thicker around this area here. Now it's all nicely smudged in, but what I wanna do is have that really nice kind of feline smoky eye. I don't want it to look like a winged liner, but I wanna do that section last. So I'm gonna head over to the other eye and get that done. Then we can continue to kind of drag it upwards and outwards. Now again, start from the outer corner and we're drawing a thick line very close to the lash line and then we're going inwards. There, so we've got that line. Now you wanna kind of start blending pretty quickly because what happens is it can start to dry out and it's much harder to blend then. So we're gonna start buffing inwards like we were on the other eye, keeping the shape the same. And we're just kind of buffing in that harsh line that we can see, that jagged line. There, that is more or less done. See how quick that was. So now we have both eyes done and we wanna start with kind of blending it upwards and outwards to give us that really nice kind of smoky look on the outside part of the eye. I'm gonna go back in with my pencil and I'm just gonna apply a very small amount at the end, not really taking too much of it out, but you can see I've dragged it upwards there. Now very quickly, go in with your brush and just start kind of nicely dragging it upwards and outwards, but don't take it too far. You wanna go in very, very small movements. Now it's a good idea to look straight ahead in the mirror, mainly for the direction. So you wanna make sure that while you're looking straight ahead, your eyes are relaxed, that you're not kind of going downwards, you're going in the right direction. And in case you've got very slightly hooded eyes, like myself, I've got semi-hooded eyes, then you wanna make sure you kind of go over that hood a little bit. So you can see how that's like really nicely smudged out now. Now, this is how subtle I'm talking. That is pretty subtle for me, well, for me anyway. But I mean, I don't want it to look like there's this bulk amount of color there and it's not blended or there's so much pigment there. I want it to look pretty natural, you know, like just a really nice soft, smoky eye. So I think that amount is good. 
once we've put our lashes on we can decide if we want to take it out any further because that also makes a difference on how it looks so you can see where we've applied it here we're going to go in with our brush we're going to start dragging that inwards and outwards because we don't want to take too much color out it's got to also blend into the rest of that smoky eye it shouldn't look disconnected Okay, so let's go ahead and look straight ahead now to make sure we're going in the same direction as the other eye. Next up, I'm gonna show you a little trick. So obviously we're gonna apply our eyelashes and I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap here. So I like to leave a gap there because if I don't trim my lashes, then it starts to irritate the inner corner of my eye as I blink. So I like to feel like I'm super comfortable with my lashes. I don't have to worry about them irritating my eyes throughout the day. So once that gap is there, the only problem is then you can see the gap and it kind of looks disconnected from the rest of your eye makeup. So my trick is to apply some liquid liner, but you only apply it here because I don't want that whole eyeliner look. I just want that very soft smoky eye. But at the same time, I want everything to look like it's part of that one look. So what we're gonna do is just apply a little bit of eyeliner right on the inner corner and I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna use my NYX Epic Ink Liner. Now this liner is amazing because it's a brush tip. I much prefer it over felt tips because felt tips I feel like they don't really kind of mold against the skin. They're very hard, it's basically like drawing with a pen. With a brush tip, it's very flexible. So you can kind of, you feel like you're kind of flowing with the angles of the skin. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this liner and apply it very close to the lash line from the inner corner. Literally, that is it. That is all I'm applying. I'm not applying a whole eyeliner look. I just want to give a little bit of kind of like a little line there so that it doesn't look completely bare. Next up, I'm gonna use the Kevin Oqua Lash Curlers. Now, you wouldn't actually think that there's a difference between lash curlers. Like, you'd think that they're all the same, they all do the same thing, but there actually is a big difference. I've used some lash curlers before where it doesn't give me that nice curl, and instead it gives me like this dent in the lash, and then I've just got that straight lash. So, it really does matter which brand you use. My personal favorite is the Kevin Oqua, but you may find another brand that you like. Now all I'm doing is I'm basically placing my lashes in the middle here, looking straight ahead and leaving a slight gap and then I'm going to press. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep pressing like this, it's almost like a pumping action. So I'm just going to keep pressing and that's enough. So we're going to do the same on this side and I'm just going to get it right get the placement right and then start pressing and there you go that's done I'm going to use the Fenty full frontal mascara I'm just applying one coat I'm now going to apply my eyelashes and these are my own brand lashes these specific lashes are called Nina. I have two collections and in each collection there are nine different styles. This specific collection that I'm using is the medium to full range and the reason I've called these specific pair Nina is because throughout the whole design process I decided to be a little bit selfish and create a lash which was basically my signature lash. So this is the lash that I wear all the time. I do mix it up now and again but these are my go-to lashes. So I've applied a very small amount of glue to the lash line and I'm letting that dry for about 30 seconds and then we're going to kind of place them very close to the lash line. So I'm just applying it on the bed of the lash and this is where I just kind of like tuck in the corners. Now I'm going to tuck in that inner corner in a second, I'm going to go straight into applying the other lash. in the outer corner. Now that I know that the placement is right, this is where I'm going to tuck in the inner corners. Okay. 
Now I'm going to go in with my NARS Skin Deep palette and I'm using the shade Whipped. So I'm using this shade here and I'm using my Zoeva 230 brush. All I'm doing is buffing this into my lower lashes, just back and forth, and then just kind of connecting it to the end here. There's not a lot on the brush to be honest, so it's kind of like very light. Now I'm going to show you a very quick lash trick because I have so many of my clients say to me that usually when they wear false lashes they find it very uncomfortable and they can feel that they're wearing lashes and they just kind of like poke in which is why I actually created my lash range because I wanted it to be super comfortable and very light. So here's the lash trick. So what you want to do is grab your mascara once you've got your eyelashes on and don't brush through because you're going to completely ruin the look of the false lashes. What you want to do is just touch the underside of your real lashes, just there, just touch it a little bit with the mascara. That's it. We're going to go in with these two fingers and we're literally just going to press the lashes together, hold it tight and then with the lower thumb we're going to roll upwards and outwards, keeping your top finger in place. We're going to keep doing that and what this does is it binds your real lashes and the false lashes together. It keeps the look of your false lashes so it still looks nice and fluffy and fluttery and it makes it super comfortable. I can't even begin to tell you. When I use this trick on my clients, they literally are like, oh my God, what happened there? Because now it just doesn't even feel like I'm wearing eyelashes. So these two fingers, we're gonna place one underneath the thumb and then the finger on top. Now we're only gonna roll the thumb upwards and outwards. Keep the upper finger exactly as it is. We're gonna do the same all the way across and you're gonna feel like you are literally not wearing any lashes. So there you go guys, that's how I create a very quick and easy smoky brown eye. What I love about this look is it's an everyday wearable smoky eye, it's not just for evening glam. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and benefited from it. I'm creating so many more videos like this, so if there's any specific look that you guys want me to create, then let me know in the comments below. As I mentioned earlier, if you like this video, then please press the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell button so that you're notified whenever I release new content. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you guys soon.